Hi, it's Ian here. Welcome to another 5-Minute Marketing Tip. March is Authority Month here on the More Clients blog. I'm going to be doing these 5-Minute Marketing Tip videos in March and all my blog posts and emails about the subject of how to become seen as an authority, as a leading expert in your field. And I'm doing that for two reasons. One is that it's a topic I get asked about a lot um, with a lot of feedback saying you know, that, that everyone sees that it's really um, a very effective strategy to become seen as a leader, a leading expert in your field, but it's also very difficult. So I'm going to be giving my best tips and ideas and experiences on how you can do that. The other reason is that starting on March the 22nd, I'm going to be a speaker at the Authority Super Summit. That's a three-day non-stop event with a whole bunch of speakers um, broadcasting about becoming seen as an authority from a variety of different perspectives. Some of the speakers I know personally, others I've heard of but don't know personally, others I've not even heard of. All the topics look really interesting though. Um, I don't quite know when in that three-day period my, uh, my talk is going to be, but it's going to be on seven recipes for becoming seen as an authority in your field and all the tips and the videos and the ideas in March are going to be leading up to that. You can sign up for the event below. I'm sure it's going to be great. Um, sign up for that and you get registered. It's completely free. This week's tip though is about how to become seen as an authority if you are starting from scratch. If you haven't got any pre-established relationships, you haven't got a really popular blog, a best-selling book, etc, etc. How do you quickly become seen as an authority? I'll share my experiences and what I recommend after this break. Hi, welcome back. So if you want to become seen as an authority, as a leading expert in your field, but you're essentially starting from scratch, what's the best way of going about it? Well, if you don't have a pre-existing book that's a bestseller or a popular podcast or a blog with loads of visitors, then I would go back to first principles. And for me, the key principles are that being an authority really means that you have some valuable, useful insight that your clients, your potential clients, are really interested in hearing about that they can't hear from anyone else. That is essentially what makes you an authority. They come to you to get that valuable, useful, valuable information or skill um, that they can't get from anywhere else. Now, typically, clients are interested in three things, in my experience. One is, what are their competitors doing? So some kind of benchmarking. Secondly, what are their clients doing? And thirdly, what are the big industry trends in their particular sector that might affect them. So what I would do if I wanted to become seen as an authority really fast is I would do a research project. I would pick a hot topic that relates to one of those areas for my clients. So what are the, what their competitors are doing, what their clients are doing, or big industry trends in their, in, in their particular field. And I would start doing research into that. And by research, I mean I would use my existing network. Now, recognising that may not be very big, but I would try and contact potential clients or their clients, whoever was appropriate for the research, to an offer to interview them as part of the research study. Now, in return, um, they would get early access to the results, more in-depth access to the results um, in return for participating in the research. And I'd then interview them probably for about an hour, ask them some in-depth questions about that particular area. Now, I find that it is um, much easier to get clients or their clients or anyone to take part in a research study, to meet you for an hour to talk about a research study, than it is if you're trying to sell them something. Um, because A, you're not trying to sell them something, and B, it's quite flattering to be asked for your opinion to take part in a research study. So not everyone is going to say yes, but a number will. And once you've got a few, you've got the ball rolling, you can ask them for introductions to others, you can go to industry associations, you can go into LinkedIn groups where these people hang out and maybe do phone interviews with them. But it should be possible relatively quickly to do about a dozen or so interviews with people in that particular field that will give you real insight into an important problem, challenge, area, trend, hot topic that your clients really care about because it's to do with their competitors, their clients or their industry trends. Once you have got that information, you've now got hold of some unique material that no one else has because you did the research yourself that's of value and of interest to your potential clients. Um, and that you can share with them. So you, by, by default, become the authority in that particular area because you have the information and the insight that no one else has. Now, it's not easy. I said it was quick, but not easy. So obviously, you've got to get on the phone, get on email, ask for favours in order to get the interviews in the first place. You've got to do the interviews. They're going to take you an hour each plus any travel time. You've then got to do the hard work of analysing the interviews and drawing out the insights, and then you've got to write it up. So it is hard work, 
but it can really set you apart. And the fact it's hard work is good, actually, because very few people are prepared to do it. If you do it, you'll really stand out. Once you've got it, you, of course, go and present it back to the people who helped you out with the study. That's great for relationship building in the first place um, and could turn some of them into actual clients. Um, but then you also go out to other people in that sector and share the results. You, um, you, you, know, you write it up on your blog. You do guest articles on other blogs. You do a webinar on the topic. You offer to do presentations to industry associations or groups of potential clients. Um, you do a podcast based on it. You make videos. It might turn into a book if you continue the research. There's all all sorts of things you can do with it to promote that expertise and knowledge that you now have that's unique to you and is highly valuable to potential clients but it all starts off with doing that research to get that knowledge in the first place so that's the way I would go hard work as I say but really can pay off give it a go see you next time